Mantum Bingoloi. I am South African and I am currently a PhD candidate at the University of Paul Sabatier in Toulouse. There was two reasons, personal but also academic reasons. Personal in the sense that I always had this dream of traveling and France was always my destination of choice. So I was very lucky when I stumbled upon this project. And then also for academic reasons because I was interested in this specific project and also the team that I'm working with, which is the Grom Dry research team. And we are currently working in the cradle of humankind at the Grom Dry fossil site. Yes, my plan is to come back in South Africa or um, get an opportunity to always work in a project that is based in South Africa. So constantly contribute to the scientific um, community in South Africa. But I'm also very passionate about academic relations between South African universities and international universities. So if there is a way to um, integrate that somehow, um, that's definitely what I'm interested in. But I'm very um, well aware of the issue of students not coming back to their home countries and also thinking about solutions towards that. And what we really want to do as black women in science is change the representation of the female scientist out there, not box her in. And this is what a scientist is because, yes, there's this constant image that we see of what a scientist should look like. And it is a male-dominated field as well, right? <laughs> it's a male-dominated field and more especially a white male-dominated field. So what we're trying to do is look at why are black women not continuing in, these, um, in this field or why are they, is there a lack of interest? Is it a lack of interest? If not, what are the pertinent issues? How do we deal with those? But then creating this new image of a holistic woman in science.